Hi, I'm Artifacts Mars, and this is the latest insanity that these uh, so-called climate scientists have gotten into. The idea of using technology to directly cool Earth's at climate, most often called geoengineering, has always been bold, part bold and crazy. Equal parts bold and crazy. It's getting slightly more... Plausible every day at an event in Washington, D.C. today. Harvard professor David Keith announced his plan for testing his solar radiation management ideas, partnering with an Arizona launch site and a high altitude balloon company called Worldview Enterprises. The plan is to launch a series of hum hover gondolas to spray tiny ice particles of ice into the stratosphere and monitor how those particles behave. It'll be years before the launch actually happens, but if they do, the resulting data can a answer some of geoengineering's biggest pro questions. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Scientist, in case you don't know, you can look up on those high, uh, cirrus clouds, I believe, would uh, suit your purpose and you wouldn't have to spend a penny. You could always study them. Uh, sit in your hammock, Mr. Scientist, uh, Mr. Keith. Lie there in your hammock. Watch those uh, high cirrus clouds and imagine that you see hammers and sickles everywhere because that's your political philosophy. Anyway, It'll be your, the main problem for researchers like Keith is that we still don't know exactly what geoengineering engineering would do to the Earth. General ideas spray reflective pellets into the atmosphere to throw off sunlight and counteract the effects of accumulating heat-trapping greenhouse gases. It works in theory, but actual testing can be politically dicey, so there's a lot of debate around these schemes. Scientists haven't been able to do much actual research, which is for fortunate for us because they're determined to kill us. The Arizona balloons would be a good place to start. The balloons would carry both sprayers and sensors, letting Keith and his team get a real time look at the effect that kind of aerosol spray would really have. And since it's ice rather than something more lingering like sulfuric acid, you can get the data without making any lasting changes to the general climate. Of course, the whole thing is years away from happening. If it happens at all, and even if Key's geoengineering scheme pulls through, we'll still have to worry about head spinning political implications of a small group of people altering an entire planet's ecosystem. They're not able to. Unless somebody pushes a button, uh, that's not going to happen. And somewhat related news, a new paper in Science broke down what it would take to keep global warming below 2 degrees Celsius, which some scientists see as point of no return. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. It's not a point of any no return. Climate goes up, it goes down. Temperatures rise, they fall. Dry periods come, wet periods come. That's the way it is. Among other things, it no longer involves selling gas power cars by 2030 and moving whole cities off fossil fuels by 2040. So get ready to see more existentially troubling clouds in the very near future. You're tired of these communists and these globalists wanting to uh, kill us. I mean, I tend to object to this. These are scumbags who want to kill us and there's no getting around it. But this uh, moron Keith, uh, 
probably just uh, spitting into the wind. I'm not too worried about this one. It's just crazy, that's all. Alright, thanks, Mars. Thanks for watching.